Welcome to this uh, course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and bi biology. We have been uh, discussing ring closing metathesis reaction uh, in details in the last uh, few lectures and uh, what we have noticed uh, over and over again through various examples that we have studied that ring closing metathesis indeed is a, a very powerful uh, reaction for constructing large macrocyclic uh, uh, compounds. And what we have also observed that when, whenever uh, there are possibilities of uh, several types of ring closing metathesis occurring on a substrate having uh, multiple alkene moieties, then the one uh, which is uh, 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 giving larger macro cycle is the one which is favored and this is uh, easily explained uh, by the uh, reason that uh, the uh, rings with uh, less uh, ring strain are the ones which would be uh, preferable uh, in the course of ring closing metathesis reaction. So, continuing with our discussion on uh, chiral form of ring closing metathesis uh, more par particularly a, a better known as asymmetric ring closing metathesis or ARCM, uh, we are going to be looking at some more examples of ARCM uh, uh, in this uh, lecture and then continue further along those lines. So, asymmetric ring closing metathesis or ARCM, this is what it is properly known as. And we are going to be looking at a particular example using a chiral catalyst. And this also uh, uses a molybdenum imido carbon complex with elaborate ligand scaffold as is drawn over here. this has a bulky mesetile moiety bound to molybdenum with a two uh, diastropropyl phenyl imido and the carbon moiety is with uh, dimethyl uh, phenyl substituents as is shown over here. And these uh, uh, catalyst facilitates ring closing between these two olefins resulting in a six membered cyclic compound and the corresponding product thus becomes as is shown over here. Similar 
uh, now uh, the scope of uh, uh, these uh, uh, ring closing matrices is further uh, expanded uh, in a uh, next example that we are going to look at uh, which involves uh, uh, ring closing metathesis as well as cross metathesis. So, uh, these are tandem reactions where two reactions happen. The first one obviously uh, is the cross metathesis followed by ring closing uh, uh, metathesis which results in larger cycle. And another interesting aspect of this uh, uh, example is that the depending uh, on upon the reaction condition one particular product is favored over the other. So, uh, we are going to take a, a look at these nice examples of tandem cross metathesis and ring closing metathesis reactions. Uh, which uh, in short is known as tandem CM or CM reactions. So, this is nicely illustrated in the following substrate. These are acrylate ester or alkene derivatives. So, upon reaction, it undergoes cross metathesis followed by ring closing metathesis to give large macrocyclic structures as is shown over here. And this is a dimeric structure. So, in this dimer formation, what happens is first uh, uh, the reaction of uh, two of this unit uh, happens through cross metathesis, and then uh, uh, to give the dimer, and then uh, uh, RCM ring closing metathesis to give the macrocycle. Now, uh, the reaction can uh, also uh, 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 give a mixture where a trimer is obtained along the same pathway. And this is a trimer, and uh, these uh, are useful uh, compounds and used in synthesizing of pyranoporphin derivatives. Used in the synthesis of pyreno derivatives. And uh, the interesting aspect is 
that uh, the product distribution is uh, dependent on uh, time and concentration product distribution depends on time and concentration for example higher concentration favors higher concentration favors favors trimer over dimer and example at 1 millimolar substrate concentration there is a dimer to trimer ratio is 1 is to 1. However, at 6 millimolar substrate concentration trimer is exclusively formed. So, uh, this is an interesting reaction where we see that two metathesis reactions occurring in tandem uh, uh, sequence uh, together uh, one by in a sequential order tandem order one by one. Uh, so, we see that for this acrylate ester substrates uh, we see cross uh, metathesis uh, between the substrates giving a dimer uh, and then the uh, RCM giving a macrocycle. So, these macrocycle can be derived from a, a dimeric structure as well as from a trimeric structure and these are useful uh, uh, in, uh, compounds for this uh, required for the synthesis of pyranophorine uh, derivatives. But what is more interesting is to note over here that uh, the formation of this dimer and the trimeric structure are very much dependent on the substrate concentration uh, used in the reaction. For example, higher substrate concentration favors the trimer formation and this is illustrated by the fact that at 1 millimolar substrate concentration both the dimer and trimer are formed in 1 is to 1 ratio. However, one, when one goes to a higher concentration for example, say to 6 millimolar uh, substrate concentration then one finds formation of trimer uh, to be exclusive. So, uh, 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 this is a nice example of uh, tandem uh, cross metathesis ring closing metathesis reaction or in short called uh, tandem CM uh, RCM uh, reaction. Uh, so, we are uh, going to look at some more uh, uh, tandem reactions for example, uh, the next one that we are going to look at is ring opening ring closing uh, a metathesis reaction or it is called ROCM or in short ring rearrangement metathesis reaction or called RRM uh, uh, reaction. So, ring opening ring closing metathesis ROCM or ring rearrangement metathesis or RRM reaction. So, this also is a interesting reactions uh, where we would see that two reactions are happening ring opening as well as ring closing. Yeah. 
So, this is observed in case of the cyclic uh, alkene derivative. So, uh, the first uh, thing is uh, ring opening and where the ring opening occurs in the cyclopentane ring as is shown over here followed by uh, a ring closing uh, uh, that occurs uh, with the alkene generated from this to uh, with that. So, uh, the first step uh, is uh, one can think of a ring opening metathesis which will sort of a give and then uh, the next step would be ring closing. So, that would uh, involve this only thing reacting with this giving a 6 membered ring and finally, getting a structure which would be So, uh, what uh, uh, if one were to look at the outcome is that a smaller uh, 5 membered ring is cleaved and the 6 membered ring is formed. So, uh, you know, this is uh, uh, a simultaneous uh, uh, two metathesis reaction occurring. Uh, the first is ROM and next is RCM and together, uh, uh, together these two reaction uh, 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 this ROM and RCM together is uh, referred to as RRM or ring rearrangement metathesis reaction. So, this is a nice example of two sequential uh, metathesis reaction that occur uh, uh, to uh, form a six membered uh, ring. So, we are going to also look at some more examples of uh, uh, this ring opening, ring closing uh, or RRM uh, reaction as we uh, proceed uh, through today's discussion. RO or CM ring opening ring closing metathesis or RRM ring rearrangement metathesis reaction examples. Here is a nice example in which a nor born in fragment undergoes RO RRM kind of rearrangement. And here what happens is uh, that uh, first uh, the ring opening uh, takes place and then uh, the ring closing uh, occurs resulting in the following bicyclic compound.
which is shown over here. So, uh, uh, the first is uh, the re ring opening a, a of this. to give and then ring closing between one of these olefins to give uh, this uh, macrocycle uh, five membered and six membered macrocycle as is shown over here. So, this is RCM and together uh, they would represent RRM which is ring rearrangement uh, reaction. You are going to take a uh, look at another example of this ROCM and RRM ring opening ring closing metathesis or ring rearrangement reaction examples and this is observed for this cyclic compound styrile allyl ether compound as is shown over here And the uh, this in presence of ethylene and catalyst gives first the ring open product along this and then the RCM product between this. So, R O M then R C M to give the following product as is shown over here. So, uh, this is another nice example of uh, ROM and RCM uh, occurring over here. So, uh, if uh, uh, one uh, sort of looks at it, uh, uh, also in during the process of ROM, So, uh, uh, in the process of ROM, uh, this would uh, open up 
and then uh, uh, then there will be uh, ring closure uh, which uh, will be affected uh, by these two uh, olefin resulting in the six membered uh, ring as is shown over here. So, this is R C M and this is R O M and together uh, uh, they would be called as R R M or ligand rearrangement uh, reaction. So, uh, now what we had uh, 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 done today is that we have looked at uh, uh, ring closing reaction various aspects of ring closing reaction including uh, tandem uh, uh, reactions of ring closing reactions with other metathesis reaction in particular we have looked at uh, uh, cross metathesis uh, ring closing uh, um, reaction or CM RCM or we have looked at also uh, various examples of ring opening ring closing metathesis or RO RCM in uh, um, uh, short they are also popularly referred to as uh, uh, um, uh, ring rearrangement reaction. So, with this uh, uh, we come to an end of our discussion on ring closing metathesis reaction. We have looked into various uh, uh, types of uh, ring closing metathesis reaction, uh, um, various uh, types involving uh, 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 the achiral versions. Then we have also looked into the chiral variety, uh, what is uh, pro uh, prominent uh, 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 in this reaction is the fact that uh, ring closing metathesis reactions usually uh, are extremely useful for uh, preparing large macrocyclic uh, compounds where the ring strain does uh, is not uh, too acute and hence uh, these uh, reactions are favored. Uh, we have also seen that uh, ring closing metathesis can uh, be applied with other metathesis reactions for example, cross metathesis reactions uh, as well as ring opening ring closing metathesis reactions uh, for preparing uh, 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 target uh, molecules with scaffolds which are uh, used for useful for other uh, special uh, kind of applications. Uh, so, with this uh, we come to uh, the conclusion of today's lecture uh, where we have uh, 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 finished our discussion on uh, ring closing metathesis reaction particularly uh, we have observed that how these reactions uh, uh, have been put in use and we have also looked into their tandem variety. So, with this I conclude our discussion on ring closing metathesis reaction. We are going to be taking up another uh, new topic uh, which is alkyne metathesis uh, uh, when we meet next uh, for the, uh, the uh, uh, for this course. Uh, this we are going to be talking about alkyne metathesis. So far we have restricted uh, on all types of metathesis reactions which uh, are uh, of known for olefins, but we are going to expand the domain of metathesis reaction and we are going to be looking at uh, alkyne metathesis reaction which also uh, by its own right and merit falls uh, in the uh, uh, overall uh, class of uh, metathesis uh, reaction. So, with that I once again thank you for being with me and I look forward to being with you when we take up this alkyne metathesis uh, in the next uh, class. Till then uh, goodbye.